Hello, in this video we are going to be covering collision with pipes. At the moment we got collision with the ground, that's fantastic, but the main thing that we are avoiding isn't the ground, it is the pipes. So if we go to the pipes header, this will feel very familiar, a lot of this will, to the previous video which covered collision with ground. So if you actually want to try and tackle it yourself before you watch this video, that'd be a great exercise to help you learn. If not, or you're having some trouble, feel free to continue watching. So let's go to the pipe header file. So we need a method, and this is going to be a const. It's going to return a std vector. It's going to be of type sprite. It's going to be a reference, or it's going to return a reference to our sprite. A, our pipe sprites vector and we're going to have a const at the end copy and paste that to save some time go to the cpp and down here we need a pipe colon colon here and we need to do return pipe sprites like so so now that we actually have a way of getting the pipe sprites, if we go to our game state .hpp now, so the game state .hpp, actually we don't need to do anything yet, we've already got the collision object created, so what we can do is actually go straight to our game state cpp. So if we go to our game state cpp, scroll down where we did our collision detection here so that's fantastic we done collision detection with the land sprites and if it's collided we essentially do this which just allows us to set it to game over we're going to do something very similar for the pipe sprites so if we copy and paste this like i said a lot of this is very similar to the previous video this will be renamed pipe sprites we'll be getting the sprites from the pipe object and we'll be checking the size of the pipe sprites and we'll be doing collision check sprite collision but it'll be with the bird and it will be the pipe sprites instead of the land sprites and that's it so if we run this now let's see what we get run it click play and <laughs> I can't physically okay you might think there's a bit of a gap we'll be covering that in a moment let me actually go to definitions now and go to the pipe spawn frequency let's put this as 2.5 so there won't be that many pipes so we can easily avoid them this time so play pretty cool or avoiding them, that's nice. But okay, as you can see, there's a gap, and there was the same situation with the what's it called? The land. And this is due to the fact that we're in rectangles, it doesn't factor in stuff like alpha. But what I figured out was what we can do is essentially scale our rectangle and get the desired result. So if you open up collision header. And if you just duplicate this method, so this is a great just default method that we won't actually be using anymore, but it's great just to have in there for your future game development needs. Because you might just need some basic collision detection. Maybe it's just with rectangles, like actual just pure rectangles, and there's no alpha in there. But for what we need, we're gonna pass in a sprite and then we're gonna pass in a float scale value for this will allow us to scale that sprite that we're checking and we'll do the same for the next sprite as well so that way we can scale the actual detection range to achieve what we want in terms of like alpha detection obviously you could do pixel perfect collision detection or implement a physics engine like box 2d or chipmunk and that will be a lot better but that's a lot more hassle what you'll see is this will achieve the exact result that we require with minimal effort. So in the CPP file, just duplicate this method. And this needs to remember it's got a float scale one, 
float scale to and now what we need to do first before we actually get the global bounds we need to do sprite one dot set scale so we're going to scale it first and we are going to scale it or oh, we're just passing two values we're scaling it the same in the x and y so we put scale one scale two do the same for sprite two and that way when we actually get the global bounds which remember factors in transformation it will have the smaller or even larger size perhaps maybe you want a larger detection region and now if we go to the game state dot cpp right here and if we go to where we are actually detecting for the collision this method is fine but we're going to add a couple of parameters so we can call the other method so we get a more precise collision detection the value of experimented with is 0 0.625 so if we scale the bird to 0 0.625 we actually want the pipe sprite the same so to do to achieve the same size for the pipe sprite we just put 1.0 f that's it and now if we run it and let's see what we get now pretty cool and let me just as you can see it looks fantastic now let me just run it again and do, 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 do click play and now if we just try and hit it on the corner as you can see it's a lot better but now I just want to show you again what it looks like with the ground collision because we haven't implemented the scale method for that one as you can see there's still a bit of a gap so we want to do something very similar for this I found that 0 0.625 was a little too much in terms of scaling it down 0 0.7f on the other hand worked very well again feel free to experiment with these values don't think these values are low and yeah just change them as you want and just experiment it's a great way of learning it's a great way of getting what you want out of this series and out of your project so let's run it click play as you can see the collision detection is a lot better now with the ground also obviously in the previous video actually a couple of videos ago we implemented it so we couldn't no in the last video we implemented game states so we can't actually fly anymore so that's pretty cool so that is it for this video if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there will be a link with this video which will take you to our github page which will provide all the source code and assets from this course so feel free to check them out and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day